Hey guys, welcome back to the Comic Book Core. We're your hosts, Kroosh and Briston. And we're back here at the Comic Tunes and Toys, our favorite comic book shop. It's really like a home away from home, right? Pretty much. Yeah. I, I, we bunk in the trade section. Um, we got another great week for you. Um, we got Joker's Asylum 2, Harley Quinn. Grim Hunt Part 1, Amazing Spider-Man. And Secret 6, issue number 19. Let's start things off with a little Joker fun. Mm. Harley Quinn. One of my favorite creations in the DC Universe. Um, I love Paul when Paul Dini first introduced her in the animated series. And this is, it's, the storytelling in the Joker's Asylum is really like uh, Tales of the Crypt. Pretty much. It, it gives you that vibe at least. At the very beginning and towards the end too. Yeah, you got Joker playing the role like the Crypt Keeper and he's going one shots on each of the vi Batman's villains. This time we get Harley Quinn. Um, it was a really fun story. Basic it's, premise. It's Valentine's Day, Joker's out of prison, and Harley's still in uh, Arkham. What's going to happen? Yeah. She's on a mission. <laughs> Hunt, find, find her pudding. She needs her pudding. Yeah. Um, and she'll do anything. And we mean anything. Just destroy stuff. She's unstoppable. Demolish stuff. My God. I didn't think... I had... This issue gave me a completely different aspect on Harley. I knew Harley could do some of the crazier stuff and whatnot. But I didn't think that she had this much determination to do what she does in this issue just to get to Mr. J. Well, hell hath no fury like a woman scorned, so... Yeah, that is true. <laughs> she, uh, yeah, this is a fun story of her trying to get to, to miss her Mr. J on Valentine's Day and spend the evening together. And nothing is going to get in her way. And it was really fun seeing her trying to get there and everything. And uh, it, it had a bit of a slapstick style to it, but it was very fun and energetic, too. Um, it was, it, it's a great standalone issue. I mean, if you if you're very, just familiar with the Batman universe, you do love this issue. Mm -hmm. One thing I like to also point out of this issue too was the artwork. The artwork was really, it was really, really fun. good. It really it also it plays around with her face too. Like her expression. She's happy and then happy and sane. Yeah, as soon as like she'll hear or make any reference to the Joker's name, she goes into this like perverted, demented, like obsessed kind of kind of like twitching eye, kind of like Joker, Joker. And um, I want to point out one more thing. It's not really this one, but the facial expression of Joker at the very end of the issue or at the very end of the story made me laugh so hard. I didn't even read what he said first thing. The first thing I saw was his face, and I could not stop laughing. <laughs> I liked uh, she even encounters Batman a little bit, and I liked the little back and forth between the, with Harley and Batman. It was fun. Definitely two thumbs up for me. Pick I'm going to a solid four or five, guys. Pick it up. Next up, we got Amazing Spider-Man Grim Hunt number one. Um, if you're familiar with the stuff that's been going on with Spider-Man lately, we got the Gauntlet arc, and it's just been like Spider-Man's decathlon. He's he doesn't have like you know uh, long run sprint or or hurdling or anything. He gets lizards, he gets sand creatures, he gets juggernauts, and he gets rhinos. Right. So if that doesn't make you an Olympic uh, All-American American, I don't know what does. We get the Craven story. That it's been the Craven family trying to pull all these strings, put them through this stuff, and we finally get the payoff. This is the first issue of that series, mm -hmm. and balls of the walls, kick-ass stuff. I think. One important thing I want to add on is I came in this like a newbie as well. I'm not so much as a newbie. I'm familiar with Spider-Man's past, but not familiar with Brand New Day Spider-Man. And I came in a little a little bit biased, but I, I I grew into this and I actually like it. It's important to note that, like, you know, you need to know that the gauntlet happened. It's just the basic idea of what the gauntlet was. That's Yeah, the... it was just, you know, he's been going through these trials and tribulations, both spiritually and mentally mm -hmm. and physically. And understand who the Craven is and some history behind Spider-Man. That's about it. And if you guys have been following Brand New Day Spider-Man style, then you are going to understand the characters. This is probably the, the, the cream of the crop. You got Joe Kelly writing this, which is really solid. And you got Michael Lark doing the main story. Um, he really gives, a, as Briston said, a very gritty, very dark kind of... Uh, vibe and I think that suited it just fine. Like I've talked this with Crush in the past like not too long ago was um the artwork goes really really well with it. It has this dark gritty look Jungle. to it. The atmosphere and the texture and the uh, art really really speaks out in tones of what the story is the present itself towards the uh, readers. My two favorite things you get to see uh this won't really spoil much but you get to see Ezekiel again and Ezekiel for you longtime spider fans I miss when I miss his his fun times uh he kind of played like, uh, first. Of my first impression of him was very much like an Obi Wan to to Peter Parker's Spider Man. Um, it was, and he's back. And there's like a giant war now. You see the the beginnings of like a war between the hunters and the, the spider tribe, I guess, and the spider family. They're hunting spiders. Yeah, They're that's hunting the, spiders. Hunting spiders. I kill spiders in my garage, people. I'm so. sorry. I've been family having that much hard time killing spiders. That that's kind of sad. Well, <laughs> I don't know, Briston. Do your spiders have spidey senses? Oh, they sense me when I come to the garage. Yeah. 
flip that light and bam, they're gone. <laughs> um, great issue. I really loved it. If if you have a if you're familiar with what's been going on, you you'll enjoy this. You might be lost if you're a bit of a new reader. Get a little bit of backup and come back and you'll enjoy it. Joe Kelly is a very talented writer. I, I'll give him uh, the benefit of the doubt with this. Um, there is no doubt. What am I talking about? Um, good story, all around fun. A lot, of, lot of great for a first issue. Definitely pick up. Out of my bias, though, I'm gonna give this about a three out of five. It's a good one. Pick it up, guys. Check it out.